What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be turning this Lilygo T Watch S3 into a pen testing tool. So, originally, I have this set up for Mesh Tastic. If you guys don't know, Mesh Tastic is an off grid radio communications. What this does is that I can have off grid texting. I can use this as like a mini cell phone, basically like tower, if I can make that easy to understand. So, basically, I can wear this on my wrist, connect this to my phone, and be able to send off grid text messages. But what I'm going to do is turn this into a pen testing device. So right now, if you guys are not, uh, if you guys haven't been around for uh, since the beginning of my YouTube channel, my one of my first pen testing gadgets was this Wi-Fi pen testing watch called the D Author. Now this one's a little bit stripped down and it's not as nice looking as it used to be. I did some modifications to this thing, but this essentially was able gave me access to pen testing. This is more or less just a D author. So, I mean, this is the author of V3. Uh, again, modified and it fell apart. I got to fix it again. But long story short, this, when I'm done with it, putting the Bruce firmware on this device should be night and day compared to this thing. So, I believe this is even cheaper than a D author. And I don't think you can get these on Amazon anymore anyway. So, I'm going to have this cool, like, spy type gadget, which I'm really excited about. I'm doing some Wi Fi pen testing on the go and this thing looks like kind of like an apple watch so i mean this could really blend in to the environment so we're going to go ahead and do that now here we are on the bruce firmware um, web flasher here and we're going to get this device ready to pair so first things first we need to turn it off so you need to be able to push the boot button down while you plug it in to get it into the flashing mode so basically right there if this is a little weird thing that doesn't even look like a button but that's it all right so you know if you're doing this right if you're holding the boot button down which is really hard to do and plugging this in at the same time if you go ahead and look, if it says that J tag, that means you did it right. So go ahead and hit pair. Now once you connect it, full erase, uh, erase device, and install, and let it do what it needs to do. The side note, so I noticed I couldn't get this to work. So if you click on the beta version, so uh, it says it right here, beta release, it worked. So for some reason, latest, uh, release didn't work for me so do the beta it seems like it's working right now uh, it's currently erasing it so it should start installing it soon and i'll check in with you guys in a minute there we go we're doing the installation process right now so i'll check in with you guys in a second all right this is complete so now i'm going to put this guy back together and see what we get all right turning it on for the first time That's pretty cool. Just like that, we now we have a pen testing watch. So tricky to use. So we're going to be doing evil portal. All right, well, we set up an evil portal. I wasn't trying to do that, but let's, let's see if it works. We connected to the evil portal here. So I'm going to type in a whole bunch of random stuff. Password test. We're going to send the credentials. So if we look at the watch, there it is. That's pretty cool. That worked. Um, again, it's very hard to use. I don't know if it's because of the gloves I'm using right now. I, find, I do find this very uh, hard to use. So it worked. I can do Wi-Fi pen testing on my wrist now. I think this is better than the uh, deauthor over there. This can deauthenticate clients as well. Right, so right now I'm trying to de-authentication attack. I have my Wi-Fi nugget set up over here, and there you go. So this nugget lets me know if there's de-authentication attacks happening around me, and it's working. So again, this is better than a de-author because it could de-authenticate, um, and it gives you a little bit more pen testing tools on here. So I'll do a little bit more experimentation with this and maybe do a more in-depth video if this video does really well. You know, if you guys are more interested about this setup, let me know in the comment section and uh, if I should dive in deeper with this. But it works. Um, pretty cool um, Pretty cool gadgets to have here. So I definitely probably buy another one of these for my mess tactics. I like having my mess tastic collection over there of the off-grid communication devices. I think this is a better as a mesh tastic, mesh tastic gadget. I think you're better off buying something like a Lilygo CC1101. Uh, TM bed for actual pen testing. Um, this, if you're going to pick up something like this, I'll leave all the description and items uh, links in the description. And remember, safety is illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.